Hey guys, Chad back here with you with part two of our Iris Plus series and this time we're going to go ahead and go over FPV. <clears throat> now it's probably the main reason why a lot of people picked up irises. Um, I've been into FPV for quite some time. I've changed the way that I view FPV and the way that I use it. Um, you know, if you're looking straight ahead here, you see my DJI F450 uh, with my camera and my GoPro on a Tarot gimbal. The same thing that uh, most people are going to have with irises. But, uh, you know, there's some distinct things that people who don't have it need to think about. Um, you know, you can fly FPV with the iris, but it's really not made for FPV in the sense of this is first of all this thing can go a lot further and I have two cameras wired up onto it if you look uh, up here at my monitor you know there's my main flight cam I can switch to the GoPro which is uh, the stabilized video and back and forth um, you can get my OSD and everything on there as well so, Iris sells the kit, 3DR sells the kit for 350 which uh, comes with your monitor, your transmitter, your receiver, your antennas, so on and so forth. Um, it's a good price, but if you're willing to spend more money, you can get way better products. Let me show you what I have on my Iris get it up here on the bench all kinds of stuff going on so if you look here basically what we have underneath is a self-created Y adapter with JST connectors and I unbundled this to make it look easier and the gimbal and then right here we have the live video out cable which goes into the GoPro Underneath here, I have a 600 watt boss cam transmitter and a video aerial systems air screw. I love uh, Alex Gray, if I'd be crazy, his antennas. Um, the guy graduated from Penn State. He designs and builds all these things himself. The kid's a genius. I just have to support him. I love his products. And you can see up here I have his Mad Mushroom, which is his receiver antenna. And I have one of his uh, three-turn helicals, which is going to be for your longer distances that I would get with that. So basically, you know, you're looking at way upgraded products when it comes to the transmitter and the antennas. Now this monitor here is a 10 inch Lumineer with dual diversity receivers and a DVR built into it. You know the monitor itself is 300 bucks but the DVR function is it's, it pays for itself in no time whenever you crash anything. Um, it's got uh, auto search to search for your bands real easy to switch between your different um, different vehicles and um, I've been pretty happy with it as far as the antennas you know again going with uh, the IB crazy stuff and if, if I really want to get crazy I can break out the Dominator V2s which are awesome but there's one thing that uh, you know people kind of need to understand whenever you're flying FPV with the iris and I'm going to try to demonstrate it to you here with the 450 so there's a difference when you're flying regular FPV and when you're flying with stabilized video now if you're flying in a decent area where you don't really have to worry about obstructions and stuff flying with stabilized video that you'll get out of the iris and the tarot is not too bad 
but uh, you know let's show you for example what happens when I'm tilting the 450 you can see the iris is staying put I mean the GoPro is staying put but if you notice the flight cam is changing now if I switch over to the GoPro video you'll see that no matter what I do it all stays centered so it's definitely something to think about when you're flying because sometimes you don't you're not going to know if you're flying left right straight or what by flying FPV because when you get your tear really dialed in it's not going to move so you really need to be careful whenever you're flying that's basically the bottom line on that let's see what else did I want to go over here um, the Terra gimbal itself if you buy one from 3DR it's gonna come tuned and it's gonna save you some headaches I can't guarantee that you're not gonna have to still hook it up and do some type of an adjustment so my recommendation is to spend the hundred dollars less buy the gimbal from somebody like ready-made RC and then use that money that you were going to spend spend on that in a live view kit and use it to get better performing products like better antennas and such now the antennas that I have and probably the antennas that come with the kit are going to fly further than the Turnigy 9X is going to allow you to fly anyway um, I've been about mm, I'm thinking 800 to 1000 meters is pretty much the limit before you're getting down into the 45 to 42 uh, RSSI percentage which is uh, close to trigger triggering a transmitter failsafe and there's really nothing you can do about that I even have from the previous video the higher gain antenna on the transmitter which I use on my free sky Tyrannus as well because I have pretty much the same setup I just get all my telemetry from uh, radio antenna defective I just get all my telemetry from uh, the actual radio itself, the receivers that Free Sky sells. So, the other way, if you don't want to go to the monitor and stuff, if you have to tear it, is to go with just goggles. Um, the Dominators have a DVR built into them. So, if you go down, you're going to be able to help find your vehicle. A lot easier with the DVR and between that and hopefully if you're running mission planner you should be able to get close enough uh, to find it if you're doing some longer long if you want to try to do some longer range stuff again I don't think the iris is a long-range vehicle if anybody has bought this thinking that's what it's gonna do you might as well return it. Um, the biggest thing about the Iris is it's a bigger, more powerful ship than this 450 of mine. But my 450 gets more flight, more flight time, carries more of a payload, yet has smaller motors, two cameras. I can go. I can go as far as on um, as the video signal as the transmitter signal will allow me which is about a couple thousand meters uh, as the way it's uh, set up right now which of course 
you know, it's all legal and it's everything like that because you're supposed to be flying line of sight and you're not supposed to be using goggles or or nothing like that. But I always have a spotter. Wink, wink. So, I mean, that's really all there is to say about FPV with the iris. I mean, it's really easy to do. My biggest thing is if you bought a flat out iris with no gimbal and no live view kit I think you should take that money get a Tarot gimbal from somebody else buy better screens and antennas with DVRs and everything like that built into them and have a go at it yourself um, our Drew Copter has all of the settings for the Terret on there, so it's really easy. The software is a little wonky, but eventually you're going to have to use it uh, anyway. Um, but it does already come pre-configured. Your radio is set up to work with the dial. Um, your settings in Pixhawk are, are already set up. So basically, all you need to do is assemble the gimbal, install it to the mounting plate that you have to purchase separately from 3DR, and um, log in with the software and adjust the settings that are right there on um, our Drew Copter's uh, website. So it gives you your gain settings. So it's like five or six different settings you have to change. And if surprisingly to me, fly way smoother and I had less of an issue setting it up than this one so I can't see spending the extra hundred bucks from 3DR just because they've already built it and it's already got those parameters loaded into it um, you know like I said if you look here you know I had to build my own mount out of carbon fiber plates and uh, hook up and change all the gain settings and test them and everything myself to get everything working the way that uh, I wanted it to jello free um, following those simple steps on the Ardrew Copters webpage I mean I got jello free video right out of it right, right after that so you know it's not really a hundred dollar headache in my opinion there's plenty of us including myself out there that are willing to help people so that's just a few things about the uh, FPV um, with the iris um, have any questions let me know like subscribe tell all your friends we'll talk to you later